Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video talking about adjusting the valves on these overhead valve engines. This is a Briggs & Stratton 14.5 horse. But it's basically the same on any Briggs engine and pretty much the same on any brand of engine. The procedure is the same, it's just you might have a different size bolt or a different lock bolt or something. It's just, But you do the same procedure on any engine to adjust the valves on it. The first thing you got to do is remove these four bolts on the valve cover here and that will come right off. Now on this one i got former gasket on there so it's going to going to take a little bit to get it off there and you also want to have a rag or something laying underneath it here to uh, catch the oil out. This engine has been sitting for a while so there shouldn't be much if any oil in there but I'm going to stick a rag there on the workbench. And... Okay, in this engine they're 3H drive but it varies between different size engines. As with anything I like to take them off in a crisscross pattern just to take the pressure off even not so critical on something like this, but it's just something I like to do. And you just go ahead and take all four bolts out. And I see it breaking loose already. I thought it might be a little, might have a little problem with it because that former gasket, because it usually sticks pretty good on there. And once you get that last bolt out, it's ready to come off. And if it sticks, you can get underneath here like this and pry on it a little bit like that to pop it loose if you need to. Just be careful not to gouge the metal. It just lifts right off. You'll usually have oil pour out of there because uh, when you have plenty of oil, when the engine's full of oil, it's, the level's almost up here and there's always oil that comes out of it. This motor's been sitting with this up for so long, all the oil done ran out of there. Okay, this is the exhaust valve right here and this is the intake valve you can tell this is the exhaust valve because right here beside it you can see it right here and that's where the muffler bolts are on and over here on this side where the carburetor bolts are on it's got a like a channel that runs all the way down to it there one of the main reasons on these overhead valve engines that you need to adjust them is because they have a compression release and if you ever start one of these and the starter drags it acts like the battery's real low it's usually the valves because the compression release ain't working right. Now most of the time when you crank these over, you can watch the exhaust valve open just a little tiny bit on the compression stroke. But for some reason on this one it's not working. It might be a compression release may not be working on the camshaft for some reason. But the focus of this video is how to adjust the valves. Okay, you got the intake valve opening there. And you have the compression stroke. And you'll see the exhaust valve opening right there. And the whole process starts over again. Usually when it comes up on compression, about right there, you can see the valve go like that. And for some reason, like I said, it's not working on this one. It might just be because it's out of adjustment. Uh, I'm not for sure yet. What you need to do, you need to get the engine on top dead center on the compression stroke. So, right there, the piston will be coming up. You can stick a screwdriver in here and feel the piston when it comes up. And when it tops out at the top, it's top dead center. That's where you need to be to adjust both valves. Okay, we're going to start on the exhaust valve, but it don't really matter what you start on. You need a 10 millimeter wrench. That seems to fit this the best. A T20 Torx bit. And you need to hold the wrench and loosen the screw. Just like that. That way you can adjust this. The more this is out, the more clearance you have on there. And according to my spec sheet for a Model 28 overhead valve Briggs, the exhaust valve is supposed to be set at 9 to 11 thousandths. So I got a 9 thousandths feeler gauge here. I always like to set the valves tight, tight as possible. So you need to snug it, tighten this bolt down just until get a little bit of drag on that. Just a little bit of drag is all you need. And if you have another person helping, you have them hold this in there. That helps out a lot. And you see it's kind of hard to hold it by yourself. Sometimes you can wedge that in there like that. If you can get it in there, that makes it a lot easier because you're less apt for it to uh, drift. And you can, when you're tightening it, you can make, and just make sure you still got it snug there. Then you come in here with your torques. Don't keep the wrench from moving. Don't let the wrench move. 
and you need to tighten this up just like that. And then before you see I got just a little bit of a drag on there which is just right. Okay now we're gonna do the intake valve and it's set for five to seven thousandths so I'm gonna set it at five thousandths and you're gonna do the same procedure on it. Hold this one's already loose all I gotta do is just back out the uh, lock screw a little bit there. That way I got a little bit of play in it. Uh, I don't know why that was already loose like that. And you want to get about the same amount of drag on it. And I'll show you on this one how you can do it without having this, somebody holding this for you. Just keep it tight. Just try your best not to let it move any at all. Then you can get in there and snug that up. Like yeah, and I think I moved just a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah, I moved it just a little tiny bit. So now we gotta, what you gotta do if you over you get it too tight, just loosen that and back it off just a little bit, then check it again. It's just a little tight, which is just fine with me. And I just realized that on this one, it's the intake valve that has the bump on the camshaft for the compression release. If you watch, as soon as it closes, see it open again right there, it's to release some of the compression. For most of these, it's the exhaust valve. That seems funny to me that it's on the intake on this one, because uh, I had to put a different camshaft in this engine, and may not have got the right camshaft. And after you get the valves adjusted, you're ready to put your valve cover back on. Make sure you put it on right. Put your four bolts in there. And once you get all your bolts tightened up, you're ready to go. Now you usually have to replace the gasket on these. They seem to tear just about every time. Well guys, if you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment below or send me a message and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.